Welcome to Venetian Soul Tarot. Today I wanted to do a pick a card reading and it's going to be who is your spirit guide. So I'll see if I can tap into the energies and see some of the traits that your spirit guides might have. So starting out we have pile number one, pile number two, pile three and pile four. If you need to meditate on the cards and really tap into the energy, please pause the video and I will see you soon. Hi, group number one. So for those of you who chose a pile with Amazonite, immediately I can see that the spirit guide I'm tapping into loves romance. I am getting this sense of a really feminine energy and here we have a union. So I think this is a spirit guide who perhaps in physical incarnations was very obsessed with romance and love and I'm also hearing um, they're quite expressive in how they appear so you may even have a spirit guide that shifts how uh, shifts her being or like can morph into different people and different visions to communicate with you I'm also feeling as though this spirit guide loves color and loves really radiant bright colors I'm sensing that this spirit guide is quite creative and theatrical so if you have a life purpose or a mission around the arts theater painting I'm also feeling like fashion design and even something like makeup or Something to do with how you express yourself. I think the spirit guide is quite gifted in those areas. Now, I do think this spirit guide tries to shift your perspective. So if you're in a negative state of mind, I'm also hearing that this spirit guide has a great sense of humor. It will try and like boost your morale or if you're feeling down it'll show you a different perspective to help lift your spirits and communicates through that and yet again we have a mask here so I do feel that this is definitely a spirit guide that may have had incarnations where they were in theater or there's something to do with performance and self-expression and I do think this uh, spirit encourages you to express yourself you may be someone I'm hearing that's quite shy or uh, may feel timid around putting yourself out there. And I think this, this spiritual guidance really assists you in pushing ahead and doing things that make you uncomfortable. And I also think they want you to trust. I feel as though you're represented by this deer. So you have quite a gentle kind of vulnerable beauty and it's almost like this spirit guide constantly is shoving you out of your comfort zone i'm also i i've heard this straight away that you, this spirit guide loves butterflies and may communicate to you through seeing butterflies or especially butterflies with really distinct colors and imagery it's almost as though this is a way for this uh, spirit to really get through to you and you may both have a love of nature because we have a lot of birds as well but I feel as though this spirit this spirit is always trying to move you beyond what you know and this here the yellow tiger mother this is quite a fierce card and from memory I think this oracle card is around taking action and coming through difficulties with that fire so I do think this spirit is quite passionate and perhaps is trying to share that energy with you to really push you ahead or to help you take the next steps on your own path. And yet again, we've got a really unique flamboyant dress sense. I'm also hearing that the spirit may have incarnated into many different cultures and has an appreciation for different ethnicities and different forms of expression. With the ivory swan goddess, yet again, I'm getting a very gentle energy. And I think whoever is connecting with this group, you are quite a gentle soul. But I think this spirit guide, although it may push you beyond what you know and beyond your comfort zone, there is a tenderness as well and a respect for your own gentle nature. And this is why I think I'm drawn to maybe you have a passion in the arts and this spiritual guidance and a higher being is attempting to nurture your creative potential. There's something to do with creativity and really working on it throughout this spread. 
Yeah, with the butterfly garden. I'm hearing that you may be a bit of a daydreamer. Your mind may wander. And I think this spirit likes to connect with you when you have these musings. And I'm also hearing this spirit guide puts a lot of ideas and visions. It almost drops it into your mind so that you will be kind of will desire to move ahead. It's almost like it feeds you all these creative visions of what's possible for you so that you'll take action and really move towards a new endeavor or a new beginning in some way. And yet again, I'm just feeling this and this really whimsical energy around you. And I think I think this spirit guide wants to work with those qualities because it understands how beneficial they can be to the creative process something that they're trying to help you with manifesting now with home in the sky i'm seeing this bird squeezed into this house i'm just feeling like it feels like it doesn't belong it needs to be free it needs to go back home so for some of you you may sometimes have this feeling that you don't belong here or you miss your spiritual origin or where you come from and i think this spirit tries to encourage you to not only assure you that you're at home and you're meant to be in this world having a physical experience, but just tries to soothe your heart and make you feel make you feel seen and make you feel loved. I'm also hearing that this they may love the spirit guide may love balloons. Well there's something to do with balloons or flying or perhaps you have dreams or fantasies of flying as well when you're sleeping. It's a bit odd, but that also popped into my mind. Now with this card, I feel like this spirit is very balanced. And I also feel they have an inner fire and an inner passion and creative potential. And I think that's the side of you that is being brought to the surface through the interaction with this spirit guide. I also, I'm, I'm hearing that they help bring out the more masculine side of your personality and the more masculine attributes. So if you do have a very feminine, gen, feminine, gentle nature, it's almost as though this spirit is trying to encourage you to take on that fire and really charge ahead at your dreams. I see you as this queen of cups, but I feel as though you have a tendency to Stay in comfort or just stay around very serene, beautiful circumstances. And when I see Amazonite, I always think of the water or being around the ocean. And yet again, I see this. So you may have a love of the ocean and that might be a way for you to recharge and spend time alone. But I think this spirit is trying to nudge you ahead and get you moving because I do think there's something that... It, it is encouraging you to work on and I do think it relates to creativity or some sort of dream you've held that you may not be taking action on. And with the hermit, I think this spirit guide is helping you with the process of transformation and spiritual growth. Perhaps you're in a period of soul searching and really assessing what you want to do and how you can move forward and move closer to your visions and your ideas. And I do think back to this perception card it's almost like this spirit guide it's like light bulb moments they drop ideas or all of a sudden you get these epiphanies and it's almost as though this spirit is saying that it comes from them that they they help you with these moments and they're really encouraging your spiritual growth so you can move forward with this nine of pentacles i feel as though it, things have been moving slowly like I was sensing this queen of cups there's something that's stagnant or there's something it's like you want to work on these pentacles but you're afraid to pick it up and with this uh what is it like a microscope it's almost as though it's almost as though you are s assessing what is the perfect action I'm feeling this energy of perfectionism almost and also this tendency to sit back in life it's like you're, you're happy to sit back and just watch, but it's almost like the spirit is telling you that these dreams aren't going to build themselves. That this, rather than worrying about, rather than being so meticulous and finding the perfect way to mold these, it's asking you to take action and to start. And with the nine of cups, I know this is something that's like your heart's desire. 
it's the dream of dreams or it's something that is going to make you very happy if you do cho choose to take action. And that's why I think this spirit is really nudging you ahead and asking you to go after this cup and to really to take the reins and allow yourself to have it. Because I think in your past, you may have suffered from scarcity or you're afraid that if you pursue this dream, you won't have enough income. So if you are desiring a creative career, for example, there might be fears around poverty and limitations around finances. But I think this spirit is letting you know that if you trust and charge ahead, there's so much good coming for you. Because next we have the Nine of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is someone that follows their passions and takes charge. They don't wait around and they make their own opportunities. And I do think this spirit guide is assisting you in really taking the reins and allowing, allowing yourself to live your best life or at least attempt your dreams. If you have suffered from perfectionism and fear of failure, now's the time to really surrender that so you can go after what you love. And with the Ten of Pentacles, we know as well that you have the potential to be not only very successful, but very abundant. There's a lot of abundance and joy and blessings that can come through this dream. And I think this spirit guide is specifically working with you to help you to manifest this because they have creative skills in a similar realm. I do feel that they have, and I also am hearing that they've achieved this 10 of pentacles status in some of their incarnations and they're assisting you in overcoming fear and uncertainty so that you can manifest and live this life. And I'm hearing that this spirit guide loves to bring, bring you presence. It could be presence in the form of people or opportunities, but it gets very excited when you have all these gifts around you. So that's all I have for you, group one. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Group number two. So for those of you who are drawn to the Malachite stone, immediately I can see that your spirit guide is either someone that loves nature and I'm also feeling loves animals. I'm almost feeling this energy of you know, environmentalists or activism. And I feel as though you might also share that love of nature and Mother Earth and really focus on protecting the environment or something around environmental changes. I just keep hearing that. But straight away, we have expression. And with this card, I feel as though this spirit guide is aiding you in expressing yourself and also feeling as though your voice counts. There's a message here around perhaps in the past you kind of, I'm just drawn to her kind of hiding her face, not showing herself. But then we've got these vibrant butterflies being released. And I feel as though there may be a tendency within you to hide or to not share your color and who you are. And I feel as though this is this spirit guide is a big believer in not only or aids you in your self-worth but also helps you be authentic is what i'm hearing to be naked and to be bare in connection with other people and the world there's just very much this energy of being completely transparent I also think this spirit guide might present with dark features because I'm drawn to all these cards and it's, you know, women with very exotic features. I'm almost hearing like Native American or there's some connection to that culture and the environment. Now, and obviously nature is self-explanatory. I'm also hearing both of you may love flowers or she may have she or he, but I am feeling a feminine energy, may have an appreciation for beautiful flowers and beautiful scenes in nature. And I'm also hearing that you may be able to hear this spirit guide best when you're in nature and in the environment. I'm definitely feeling a really green kind of, almost like an elemental being. Now with protection, I'm also, I was hearing before when I laid these cards that she may have been royalty because for me, this woman looks so regal and here we have the Lotus throne. So this spirit guide may have had prior incarnations where she was royalty, but she definitely knew her worth. I do feel this energy of really wanting 
to step in or wanting you to step into your own value. And with protection, I think this is quite a protective energy. This spirit very much takes care of you and is always looking out for you. I'm hearing for some of you, you may have hobbies that are high risk or there may be things around you that could be dangerous and this spirit guide will often intervene or make sure you're taken care of. I also am feeling that this spirit guide does some sort of energetic healing that rather than communicate through thoughts or more obvious means, it's almost like the spirit guide will tweak your energy or shift your vibration. I think you also receive guidance around how to shift and lift your vibration. So reveal the peacock beauty. This card in this oracle deck normally means revealing your skills and talents and your calling. And I think that's part of it. But I think this card is really asking you to reveal the beauty of who you are. There's something about authenticity and wanting you to be bare and authentic in all that you are. And it's almost as though this spirit guide is, is communicating or trying to show to you just how amazing and beautiful you are. But it's almost as though you don't always see it. Now with the Lotus Throne, I feel like this is a status that you are being elevated to. It's this just unconditional love and self-worth and not allowing anyone or anything to throw you off balance. I also think that this spirit guide is quite a potent healer. So she may have had former incarnations as some sort of medicine woman and I'm also hearing like herbalist something to do with plants and that's part of why she has an affiliation for mother earth and really healing the planet because I think a lot of her incarnations and lifetimes revolved around that and you might also have the potential to succeed in something similar okay here with this night ride I feel as though this protective owl is really your spirit guide uh, she does have that real that regal authoritarian energy very graceful but almost as though she's taking care of you and i'm also hearing that she protects you from dangers that are unseen so if you do have challenges around you i feel like oftentimes the spirit guide will intervene before it even comes to your conscious awareness i'm also drawn the elephant there's two elephants and i feel as though her energy is very stable and grounded it's almost like and i'm here we have the hierophant i kept feeling this is a really taurian energy so and even her beauty and her appearance does remind me of a taurus so she may really connect with taurian energy or you may, might have taurus somewhere prominent in your chart but i am getting that taurian vibe so keys on trees, I feel as though there may have been something you were working towards and you felt like you were caged and trapped and you couldn't find the answer or there was something that you weren't able to access. But I'm just getting this feeling that it wasn't meant for you. It's almost as though you've been focused on something or trying to build something and it's I almost feel like the spirit guide has hidden this key because this isn't your castle, this isn't where you belong. So it's almost like guiding your path or shifting your direction so you surrender trying to access whatever this was. Now, yet again, like you might have some real talent around, you know, caring for animals. You might make a great vet or a veterinary assistant. There's something about nature and animals. I just feel as though your innate soul and your energy really resonates with the natural world. And I also think you can see this little um, almost fairy here. I think this spirit guide loves to communicate to you when you're in nature or when you're in a natural setting because it's also something that she loves. With this Knight of Pentacles, I feel as though you're being asked to let go of something. And I think it ties back into what I was sensing in this card with this key. 
there's something you're trying to hold on to and move ahead with, but it's not really moving. It's almost like it's so slow paced that nothing's going ahead. And with the Ten of Wands, I see you get to a point where you surrender. It's almost like you feel despair, but you've dropped these wands and you might be exhausted, but you're ready to move in a new direction. So I do think, and it's almost like you're turning your back on where you don't belong. So I do think the spirit guide is really aiding you in seeing what serves you and what needs to be released. I'm also hearing for some of you, she might be wanting you to go on a retreat or go somewhere in nature, even for a holiday, to really connect to yourself and to better be able to hear her wisdom. And I mean, if you live in a natural setting, you can always spend more time outdoors, but I do think that would benefit you. Now with this Eight of Pentacles energy, I do see you either, I see this woman as contemplating and assessing what matters to her, what what she values where i'm also hearing for you guys where you want to live so some of you might not be content in your current home or your changing environments and scenery maybe she's giving you guidance to move somewhere that's more green or more natural with more fresh air i just get this sense that you feel caged somewhere like here and here it's very uh tucked away and locked away but I do think this time out, you're really reassessing what you want and what you want to manifest. And here we almost have a fortune teller who's tapping into divine knowledge. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. And you're really being helped in understanding what does and doesn't serve you and how to create changes in your life that really honor who you are. Like you may have these gifts and talents I'm sensing, but you don't express them and people don't see them within you. And it's almost as though you're shifting or going through these life changes so that you can show more of who you really are. And that ties into that authenticity. I also think this spirit guide is helping you to step into the queen of swords energy, because I do think there's this need to set boundaries and be really, uh, not just authentic, but really firm in who you are and what you want. So I do think this is the energy that you're encouraged to adopt so that you can really manifest and create a life that serves you. And I think you've been in this hangman energy so that you can have a shift in, per in perception. Also, again, we're out in nature. I don't know. I feel like this sounds really random, but I feel like this spirit guide loves trees as well. <laughs> Whatever, whoever this spirit is, there's a real affinity for the natural world. And I, I expect that that must exist within you as well. There does seem to be this mapping on of a love of animals and the natural realms. But I do think for you in particular, you're able to hear spirit a lot clearer when you are in natural settings. And I think that could be necessary for you to change perception. And I'm also hearing you need to reassess what you want and what you're building in your world. Because we finish on the five of cups and obviously these two cups are still standing. But I do feel you're feeling loss about something you were trying to access and create, but it didn't come about. But I feel innately it wasn't your path or it wasn't the authentic path that would have made you fulfilled and happy. And I think this spirit guide was assisting you in understanding that and focusing on the positive and how to move forward. So that's all I have for you, group two. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hey, group number three. So for those of you who are drawn to this pile, I feel as though this spirit guide is like wild and free. Very much a free spirit and also encouraging you forward. I feel like this energy is someone that just goes after, goes after what they desire, but also is able to flow with the divine and flow with the universe. And I think it's very clear that this spirit guide has been helping you in releasing something energetically. I do feel that there may have been... I'm hearing it, it's a preconceived notion of how your life should be. So perhaps you have certain beliefs or conditioning around how to live the best life or what career you should have, who your partner should be, what they should look like. And it's almost like this spirit guide is asking you to let go 
and just allow life and allow your gifts to unfold naturally because I think and I think it's like they're trying to remove all these clothing this clothing limitations just set you free to just run and be happy I'm hearing as well there may have been something in your life that hasn't been fulfilling you and I feel like this spirit guide is trying to teach you their own method and how I think in their incarnations they lived freely and they weren't overly concerned with what other people thought and I feel as though you're being granted your own personal power and they are aiding you in really understanding what you can achieve and what makes you happy without considering the effect of other people and also I'm drawn to these cards we have three here the empress which is the third of major arcana then we have the three of cups and then we have the three of wands so we have three 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 and also the number three represents communication expression and for me three is also the number of joy and a lighter energy and here we have surrender so i feel like there's something there's a way of living that you're being asked to reconsider and you're going through a period or you're being aided in finding a new way to express yourself or live in this world there's almost this energy it's almost like a spirit guide wants to set you free like these butterflies and just be free to fly and roam and express yourself in a way that makes you happy i just feel this energy that this spirit guide is very light-hearted and very bubbly also i think in their incarnations they were very charismatic very abundant and they knew how to live a great life while still allowing still allowing themselves to flow with the universe they didn't try to control everything and with enter the jade temple number 11 i feel as though there's a period of transformation and i feel it has to do with shedding societal conditioning and limiting thought patterns i feel as though you're being asked to really set yourself free and allow yourself to enjoy all the gifts that are coming towards you because I do feel that you're entering a new chapter, but the only way that you can really progress on this path is to flow with life. And this particular oracle card in this deck represents a, a river that can flow through any obstacle because of its divine nature and divine intervention. So I do think you're being helped to kind of set yourself free. And I think the spirit guide is also aiding the path of you releasing obstacles, limiting beliefs. I think it it wants you to experience life as joyful and fun while still achieving a quality of living that satisfies you. Now with the white rose of hope, I'm also hearing that the spirit guide is very optimistic, very bubbly, always can find the gift and the blessing in anything that happens. I also feel their energy though is pretty uh, gentle. It's not, it's not heavy handed like forcing you in a particular direction. It's more about, it, I'm hearing liberating your heart or lifting your spirit so that you can see how joyful and positive life can be and how positive your own experience of life can be. Mm. I also feel with the gift, I always feel like this is your spirit guide and she shelters you from the darkness and carries these gifts. But what I think it represents is even when you're going through dark times and you perceive negativity, she is always showing you the gift, the lesson, the purpose so that you can keep moving forward. Because I do think, although this energy is wild and free, it's very progressive. I do think this spirit guide is constantly wanting like evolution and growth and wanting you to continuously expand and evolve but i think you're also being instructed to have a much lighter approach i, I don't know why i'm getting this but i think this spirit guide may have had a lifetime in england and i feel as though during that lifetime there was this shedding of perhaps she lived a life that was what would be the word not royalty but 
upper class and I almost feel as though she was so wild and free she just turned her back on all the expectations there's something around leaving behind limitations and not being concerned with what people think so that you can live and build your authentic happiness now with the three of pentacles I do think there's something you're trying to create in your world and I'm hearing it could be a life path or career path that's more fulfilling and then I'm also hearing freedom of schedule so you may be wanting to transition to self-employment. I'm also feeling for some of you, it may involve the arts or I'm hearing some sort of enterprise that has a social component. It has something to do with other people and expression and joy. And I also feel the Empress here, you, you have the opportunity to be very abundant. For some of you, you may also be wanting to get pregnant or have a child. And I'm feeling as though... This is not only a positive omen, but I also am hearing the messages release how it happens or if you have a strict schedule of when you feel it needs to happen. It's almost as though the spirit guide is trying to just encourage you to embrace every moment and not need everything as structured. You don't need to control how it happens. With the chariot, it does show that things will be moving forward and you are moving towards the light and towards your own sun, I'm hearing. So I do think this into, this spirit guide is very good at following their own essence and their own sense of happiness. I do feel this, it's almost as like, it's almost as though this spirit guide, for them life was a continuous party or they love to connect with people. For them, they were grateful and respected every single moment and I'm also hearing they knew that whatever was manifesting was the was the right thing they had such faith in the universe and they knew that the universe was always leading them closer to happiness and closer to joy and I'm just feeling this energy that this spirit guide is now imparting this wisdom to you and really nudging you intuitively to head towards the things that make you happy and I also think for you, you may need to spend some time just around friends and just lightening your energy. I just feel this sense of celebration. For some of you, this celebration may pertain to becoming pregnant or conceiving. But I do feel this sense that you're moving into a time of celebration and the spirit guide is really nudging you ahead and helping. And I'm hearing as well that they're sharing in your joy. When you're happy, the spirit guide feels that energy with you and that's what excites them. And I'm almost hearing that they want to do things to make you happy because it, it's so liberating when they feel that energy. And I'm hearing they like to experience things through you. So if you like to meet new people and have adventures, the spirit guide loves to tag along and really takes enjoyment in what's happening. With this Knight of Swords, I see you moving ahead quickly. I see positive changes. I'm also seeing with these documents, I'm feeling it could be for some of you a business transaction or some sort of legal document. For some of you, it could pertain to marriage as well. You might be moving into a time of union and family and children, and this pertains to moving ahead with that and legalizing a connection or a marriage. I also am hearing that this spirit guide is really sharp in their thoughts. They're very articulate, very intelligent, and they communicate well through the mind, through ideas. Okay, with the three of wands, I think you're receiving a lot of blessings, but I do think it's coming about because I am hearing that one chapter is ended, and I also think you're learning to enjoy life more and enjoy yourself more. And I think this spirit guide really loves embarking or I keep hearing the word adventure so maybe it's also telling you to embark on more adventures or take more risks there's definitely this energy of this spirit guide really enjoying risk taking or thrill seeking and it wants you to as you to involve yourself in that more with this eight of cups you might have had to leave a lot behind but I'm hearing that you're entering I think it's more leaving behind one stage of your life. There's definitely a transition for you and the spirit guide is watching over you. So I do get the feeling that whatever it is you're leaving behind, you are moving to better times because here we are finishing on the sun 
And I think this is exactly the state that this spirit guide wants you to be in. And I also think this woman really represents your spirit guide. So they may appear with really light features, but there's just this joyful, lively, bright energy and this freedom. And I think this is the energy it's assisting you in adopting so that you can enjoy your life to the fullest. And also I'm hearing enjoy moments with those around you, especially if you are building a family or wanting to connect with others in a deeper way. So that's all I have for you, group three. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Group number four. So for those of you drawn to this pile of cards, I'm getting very clear visuals on what this spirit guide looks like or how they're choosing to present. I feel for a lot of you, they might have ginger hair and I'm also hearing like very curly long curly hair kind of like represented in this card i am seeing just long flowing hair and i am feeling it's almost like they look like from the victorian era like very distinct for some of you i'm hearing as well you might have ginger hair or have curly hair and they're coming through as a way to connect but even here this woman her hair's she's brunette but it's got like a ginger sheen so I do feel there's something around ginger or wavy hair. I also feel as though this spirit guide in her incarnations dealt with a lot of loss. In particular, I'm hearing around love. There seems to be this energy of grief or loss that she's very experienced in dealing with. And I'm also hearing that this spirit guide, you've shared incarnations with them. Obviously, um, gender is fluid. It could be male, female depending on the depending on the lifetime but I am feeling as though you've shared a lot together and you may have even had difficult past lives together but I feel as though this spirit guide really makes themselves known when you go through periods of grief or hardship when there's a lot of change and a lot of transformation that's when you really can feel and sense this spirit guide I'm hearing like also when you cry or when you grieve, they're right there with you. Now, I think the connection that you have with this spirit guide is very pure. And I do think because you're, you're essentially soulmates or you've shared physical incarnations together, there's a kinship or a closeness that's developed. And I'm also hearing, I think the spirit guide is very pure, but I feel... They're a hopeless romantic. They're pure in the sense that they always believe in love or they always see the best in others. And I think that's part of why they may have been hurt in many lifetimes or they face disappointments. Well, I feel as though I do feel that this spirit guide in particular is helping you with love in some way. They're guiding your romantic life or they give you intuitive nudges around who you should connect with or who you should leave behind. They seem to be wanting to communicate with you in those ways. And with truth, I feel as though this spirit guide activates your third eye. For some reason, I'm just getting that, that they communicate directly through your third eye. And I'm also hearing for some of you, you might be like twin souls or very close souls, like almost like counterparts but this, they've obviously choose, chosen to be a spirit guide in this lifetime. I just feel this energy that you're identical. There's a real closeness here. And it's very much, it's just at a soul level. It's beyond words. But there's some sort of mirroring that's happening. For some of you as well, I, I don't know why I want to say this, but I feel like you might be a twin or there's someone in your environment that's very similar to you. It's another message. Okay, with Shining Lotus, I see this woman as a very rom romantic and dreamy and very good at attracting attention. I do feel it's attention of the opposite sex or of a romantic nature. And I think this spirit guide is teaching you how to balance this with partnership or is helping you use this so you can attract a partnership that's more long lasting or that really helps you. And I think that's something that this spirit guide struggled with in her own lifetime. I also feel that the spirit guide loves dancing. And I'm also feeling like very sensual, like 
not seductive, but somewhat seductive dancing or there was some, maybe in a past life she was a dancer and she was very good at expressing herself in physical form. But I'm getting this really like whimsical, dreamy energy and also immense beauty. I think this spirit guide is very beautiful and I think she's also saying she's you're beautiful. She's telling you how beautiful you are. So with can you hear me? I think sometimes this spirit guide feels as though you're ignoring their messages or you're not um, as receptive to their ideas as they may hope. I do feel that your energy intrinsically is not as romantic as theirs. So I feel as though this spirit guide almost has these like flights of romanticism and then like it communicates or whisp whispers them through you and you're almost, you almost brush it off. There's almost this sense that you, you're so familiar with this spirit guide that it's, it's that like a sibling relationship where you, you hear them and you love them, but you kind of disregard it. And I think this spirit guide is really asking you to be more receptive to their messages and their ideas, even if they are maybe lacking sometimes in practicality. And with my dear friend, I think this is just communicating what close souls you are and how much this spirit guide loves you. I do think this is like a very loving bond and it's almost like you're it's what I was saying before about these twin souls. I almost feel like it's one being that you're so close or you're so familiar with this spiritual essence that it almost doesn't feel separate from yourself. And this might also be part of why you sometimes can't hear them or can't sense them because it's almost, it's almost like sensing yourself. There's, there's something about a similarity where you're almost identical and you almost merge into one like a twin soul. So it's a very interesting energy because I haven't got that for any of the other groups. And with this particular card, I think when you're going through a lot and life is very chaotic, this spirit guide comes, is most noticed. So perhaps during really difficult times, you can feel her presence or her comfort and her energy, but other times you can't. And you may be going with this transition card, I was sensing that she's dealt with a lot of grief and difficulty. So some of you may be going through a bereavement or the loss of a relationship. There may be something that you've lost that is hurting you at the moment. And she's expressing that she's really here for you and she's trying to help you. Now, I do feel like this spirit guide is very graceful and very balanced and very good at balancing different, uh, either different goals or different ideas. There's something about that. And I think she's helping you keep, stay on top of all areas of your life. So if you are quite ambitious or you're focused on work, uh, also to give attention to relationships and connections. I'm also hearing this, uh, spirit guide loves books. And may communicate or give you messages through certain books you pick up or what you read. You may yourself even be involved in writing or something relative to the written word. Now, I do think the spirit guide communicates the truth to you and is very um, honest. I do feel, um, and I'm also hearing they communicate or connect with you in a style that is very clear but it's almost so similar to you or it's, it's almost like it gets lost within your own messages. So it's, it's this sense that you almost doubt their presence, but really what you're perceiving as your own thoughts is actually the spirit, this spirit guide trying to communicate through you. Now with the four, I do feel there's been some sort of shake up or hardship or loss that is leading to a new beginning. And I think this is them taking it with you. They're there, they're excited for you, they're wanting to take this journey alongside you so that you both can experience. I'm hearing in this lifetime, it's almost like the spirit guide wants to experience more joy through you. Perhaps she's taken on lifetimes that were very difficult and very draining and it's almost as though, and I'm also hearing you may be attracting a new love or a new connection and it's almost like she's excited for the romance and to experience it through you. With this card, I think there's something beautiful coming to you and there's magic around you, but you don't see it yet. 
I think there is something manifesting and I do think it's in the realm of romance and relationship that is about to make itself known, but it may not have manifested or appeared yet. So you're not, you're not conscious of it, but I think she's well aware of what's about to come into your world and how beautiful the experience will be. And I do think she's asking you to stop, to lay down your burdens. I feel as though in this card as well that you might have a lot going on. You might be trying to juggle a lot or you're still healing from something that has hurt you. And I think she's trying to ask you to really rest, you know, take time for yourself, just flow and heal properly so that when you do receive messages or a new connection, you're emotionally available and fully ready to embark on this new and this new start or this new part of the journey. But with this six of cups, I'm also hearing this may be someone you've known in childhood or have known before. For some of you, it could be return of a past lover or soulmate, and she's helping to orchestrate this union. So it comes together this time around for others of you. This is someone that you've loved in a past life. And I do feel that this spirit guide also knows this soul. And there's a kinship between all three of you. There's some sort of connection. And I feel like with this offering, I feel like the spirit guide has specifically found this person to bring them into your world so that you can experience great love and have the type of romance that this spirit guide would love or enjoy herself. There's something about orchestrating this for you and acknowledging that you have gone through a period of grief or loss or whatever it has been, but she's here really bringing you blessings and bringing you love at the outset. So that's all I have for you, group four. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.